Welcome to the best CPU in January 2015, guys. It's going to be the best bang for your bucks out of all the CPUs I talk about. Uh, first up on the agenda, there's two CPUs that come in around 70 and 100 bucks that I like. I like both of them. Um, if you know how to overclock really well, I'm going to recommend the Intel Pentium G3258. I know it's a dual core, but this thing, they've put it through tests and it can like, just rocks gaming, the gaming world for 70, 70 bucks. Actually, right now, I'm looking at Amazon, it's like 60 bucks. It's a crazy deal for this little guy. Um, the other one is going to be the AMD FX6300. I like it a lot. I think the i3 is a little bit better than that, but for 100 bucks, the the AMD FX6300 is a really, really good deal. It gives you a really good bang for your buck in the CPU world. Um, moving on from that, the budget gamers pick, I would say, is the i3-4160. If you're really, really hard up on money, you can spend $125. Uh, this is going to be the, the chip you're going to want to get. It's going to give you pretty good performance for a dual core. A lot of games are using quad cores right now, I know that. But this, I mean, if you're on a budget, you got to do what you got to do, right? You got to get what you got to get. And if you're going to get this, you can upgrade later to a better processor. So this is a good one to look at. Um, then I'm going to move up to the. Uh, I'm going to pick the Intel Core i5 4460. Um, it's a good processor, it's good. It's well known for their uh, high-end gaming prowess at the reasonable price of $190, which is good. You can play most of your games on max settings. It's it's a great processor, I think. But if you're going to want to like overclock, I'm going to say spend the extra money to go 235 on Amazon right now. Um, the Intel Core i5 4690K is uh, one of my friends has this actually. He overclocks the crap out of it, and he's getting the same amount of frame rates I'm getting out of my i7 un, un overclocked. Um, it's a great, it's a great processor, really. For two hundred thirty-five dollars, you can pretty much you will be able to play everything on at least medium settings. It's going to look great, and it's going to have a great frame rate. But uh, yeah, I can't recommend that one enough. The quad core. But if you're like me, you got to have. You just you gotta have hyper threading and all that, and I had to get to the Intel i Core or the Intel Core i7 4790K. Um, Three hundred thirty five dollars, it's an extra hundred dollars, but the the benefits you get from this is like worth the money. You're gonna get your uh, your clock rate's gonna be up. You're gonna get your turbo boost out of it, and it's gonna be just ama an amazing thing. It's hyper threading technology that it has in it, and it really helps you out. Um, I haven't overclocked my i7, but I know when I overclock it, it's going to be way better than it is now, and I'm saving that for when I really need to. I video edit, I do tons of uh, gaming, and I've, I've never had a problem with it at all. So it's it's a great processor. Um, if you really want to go max out, I I would say the max I would go right now is uh there's a chip that's $565. It's the Intel Core i7 5930K is what I would go for, I guess. I think that's going to be your best bet. Um, everything will run on max with this thing. As long as you have a good video card, obviously. Uh, I think that would be the max I would go for money, and that would be the best chip I would pick, because the i7 5930K. I think that's about it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Uh, watch the channel. I appreciate it every like every comment thanks for watching like and subscribe for more videos we're going to be doing the best motherboard of the month the best cpu of the month and the best ssd drives for the month hope to see you there